Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna try to replace the steering wheel on my Jaguar F-Type R. I'm replacing it with one that I made custom made with carbon fiber and leather. This is gonna look very, very nice. It's an upgrade that I like to do in my cars. I'm having a little bit of coffee, hot coffee, because it's a bit cold outside. Uh, but before we do that, let me thank my sponsor, Rolls-Royce Motor Cars or Rally. Rolls-Royce Motor Cars Raleigh provides the Carolinas with a pristine collection of Rolls-Royce models and unforgettable service. From viewing to paperwork and financing, their exceptional team of professionals streamlines the experience for you, so that every moment here is a world-class encounter. Their friendly personnel are experts in what they do and are happy to help. If you're in the Raleigh area, visit their showroom today and find a product that defines you. If you're not located in the Raleigh area, or prefer to work with them virtually, they offer a variety of remote services, including white glove delivery. They'll help you find the Rolls Royce or other luxury car and leave you with a smile. All right guys, so um, here's the steering wheel that we're gonna install. As you can see, carbon fiber, orange uh, marker, orange stitching on the leather. Perforated leather is the way I like it. It's gonna look very nice matching the interior on the orange Jaguar. It's a fire sand color, that's the actual color. So this is gonna be fun. Um, I also ordered the, uh, the cluster buttons on the, uh, the steering wheel. I got the two sides, so those are new because the ones on the car are a bit worn off. Um, and then the bottom part of the steering wheel, I think I'm gonna have to restore that, maybe paint it, because uh, it's a little bit scratched and I couldn't get that part. Um, so there's a bit of work to do, um, uh, but first of all, I need to remove that steering wheel. Uh, we're going to follow a process step by step and, and hopefully that will work out. So uh, let's begin. All right, guys. So the first thing we need to do now is to unplug the battery so that we don't have issues with the airbag. I understand the battery is down there in a compartment, so let me get onto it. All right, so the battery is done here. You just need to remove this uh, cover and uh, we can see that. So I'm gonna unplug the battery and then I'm gonna wait a few minutes just to make sure that there's no charge going into the uh, airbag on the steering wheel. All right, guys, so just disconnected the pole. You use a 13 millimeter wrench and that was quite easy. So I need to make sure now that that doesn't come back and has any chance to reconnect. And then we're gonna go to the steering wheel and see how we can remove that. All right, guys, so this is the back of the uh, steering wheel. I just put it in 90 degrees. And then as you can see in there, there's a little metallic flap that you need to bring down with one of these tools. So I'm going to attempt to do that and then there's another one underneath and that should enable us to remove the airbag. So be mindful of that flap. Um, I think a bent tool like this is probably the best tool that you can use for this job. All right, guys. So uh, that was a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie until you get your hook uh, tool. Uh, to be able to pull down that little uh, metallic tab. Uh, it takes a while, but it, it happened. And then I turned the wheel 90 degrees again and did it on the other side. So now the airbag is out. So it's just a matter now of making sure that you disconnect those terminals, um, which I'm hoping will be quite simple. And then you can remove the airbag and then we will be ready then to put the steering wheel again in straight position and do some markers. I'm gonna explain that in a moment. Okay, so you just um, lift the orange plastic parts here with your uh, tool. And then once those are out, you can then pull on the uh, yellow parts to disconnect. So let's see that works yep that was it it looks like an unhappy face 
um, but it's gonna be a happy process. So you, then you do the same with the second one, and then um, we'll make sure that we remove all the, the cable tightening up here so that it's free, and then it can be pushed down when you uh, remove the steering wheel. So you also wanna make sure that you disconnect these two terminals here, um, this one and this one, so that the whole cable assembly can come out. So let's make sure you uh, remove that with a prying tool if necessary. So once all cables are disconnected, then you're you're good to go. That's the, uh, the airbag is out, fully out and ready to be installed in the new steering wheel. So now we're gonna look for this. I believe it's a 21 millimeter. I'm gonna check and let you know which one fits. And then uh, we're gonna make sure that we do some markers. So we're gonna get to that now. So we, before we remove the bolt, um, let's make sure that we remove that one more cable here. Uh, that should be quite simple. Uh, let's make sure that's out. And then that's how the whole thing can come out. So just don't forget to do that. All right, guys, so cable disconnected. And the, uh, the wrench you need is a 21 millimeter. So that's gonna be, should be easy enough. And um, let's see how hard it is at the moment, but uh, let's proceed to remove that. All right, so the bolt is loose. We finish it by hand. And here it is. Right, so as you can see, I did some marking here. Even though it's already marked like an indentation in the metal, I just wanna make sure that it matches the this part so that when we take it out, when we bring it back, it's a perfect match. All right, guys, so that was pretty simple to get out. You just get the cables through that hole. And uh, as you can see, the mechanism is there. And now we're ready to uh, go into the operating table and do some surgery uh, on these parts and transplant this bottom part, which I think I need to restore into the new steering wheel. So let's do that now. All right, guys, so here's the uh, two steering wheels, the original. As you can see, I will have to transplant all the cabling inside, as well as the uh, the bottom mechanisms here and uh, the bottom part here. So um, that includes the shifters and that includes this part that will have to go into the new steering wheel. So as you can see, that part is not there. So I will have to figure out ways. I think there's some screws there that I need to remove in order to make sure that I'm able to transplant it here. So let's do that now. All right, guys. So um, you need to remove the trim, which is pretty easy, actually. You use a trim removal tool to get it off the edges here. And then once it's loose, you can disconnect the, uh, the bottom mechanisms here. And then you can have to disconnect this one down there and uh, these two and then make sure that you remove the cable from the harness. Um, once that is out, now I can proceed to remove the buttons and then install the new ones back here. I just need um, a small Torx uh, screwdriver to remove this. And then we're gonna go into this part of the assembly to remove that. All right, guys, so you can see here the new button assembly. They look very nice. Um, you can see the old ones were worn out. They had some um, inserts or some glued on, sort of uh, mimicking carbon fiber that didn't look good. Now this part doesn't look great. I think somebody painted it 
before uh, so it looks like it was once removed i think i want to paint it like matte black even though i have a cover on that goes on top of this that mimics carbon fiber that is going to look very nice um, but i'm thinking i want to paint that the same way i want to paint this part as soon as it comes out i need to figure out how to do that now Okay, so let's proceed now to remove the paddle shifters. And there's a cable attached to them that I'm assuming is gonna be um, detached as soon as we can get it loose. So as soon as you remove the Torx screw, you can see that there's a, a small connector here that you need to detach. Um, and then once we do that, we are able to detach the paddle shifters. Let's do that now. All right, guys, so I took out this part, which was pretty easy. It just comes out um, once you use the uh, the trim tool. Um, the only thing that is a drawback here is that this connector here is for the heating uh, mechanism for the steering wheel. So I will not have that with the new steering wheel. It's something I lose. Actually, I use it quite a bit. So, yeah, I never thought of that, but... Yeah, there's cables all over this place just to make sure that it's heated and that will not be connected in the new one. So that's something to mind as you do this and, uh, you know, make sure that you're aware that you lose that capability. Now we're going to proceed to remove this ring. There's three uh, screws here, Torx, and the whole thing should come out and then we'll transplant it into the new one. Okay, so the ring is transplanted into the new steering wheel. The cables are here, out, so that we can connect the paddle shifters. Um, and now we're gonna do some reconnecting of these cables and do some cable management here and get it ready for us to reinstall the, uh, the trim with the buttons. Um, but before that, I'm gonna cut here because I think I'm gonna restore this with paint and hopefully we'll do some restoration of this so you'll see the result pretty soon. Let's do that now. All right, guys. So I uh, reattach some parts here, the round sort of trim part. I did the uh, paddle shifters, they're back functioning great, reconnected them. I uh, made sure that I did some tidying up of the cables in preparation for bringing back the buttons, which I reattached to this part. Um, this restoration is not the best, but it's gonna be covered by a carbon fiber trim part that I have, but I did restore the bottom part of the uh, steering wheel. I'm removing that uh, sticker on top of the R later when it's fully dry but yeah it's almost ready to go back all in and then take it back to the car so let's do that now all right guys so we just attached the um, steering wheel back put the center bolt and uh, i'm ready to reattach the uh, connectors to the airbag and then the airbag should just snap back in um, and then lastly, I'm going to remove the tape that is covering the R emblem and put the uh, carbon fiber cover on the trim area here and uh, we should be done. And then it's a matter of connecting back the battery and checking that everything is working properly. So let's do that now.